हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग नमस्ते सो यू गाइस आर ऑल सेट फॉर टुडेज मंडाला सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ दिस मंडाला टुडे दिस इज द मंडाला व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ एंड हियर आर द फ्यू सप्लाइज व्हिच वी नीड we can work with just one pen one black marker pen is enough but if you have various different tips like little thin tip or little thick tip then that would be awesome but that is absolutely optional guys we need ruler pencil compass eraser and a 6 inch by 6 inch square sheet and here i am your host my name is nidhi prakash and my co-host is my husband ajay prakash who is helping me in the chat behind the scene hello ajay hello folks how are you so we are working as a team and i hope you enjoy the session so are you, are you guys all set shall we start so we are working on a 6 inch by 6 inch square sheet as you can see but you know you can expand it to any size at you can make it in as big as you want like this this is a 16 by 20 inch uh zendala you can see here you can it's absolutely your imagination how big you want to make but just because of the video purpose we are making it in a six inch by six inch square paper here i am using this strathamore artist style it is a smooth surface it's especially made for the pattern drawing and for the meditative art this is a very bristol that uh, bristol is smooth finish and a very thick sheet so let's start so before we start we need to find the center of our paper and we need to divide our paper into eight sections guys so as it is a six inch by six inch square paper so we need to find out the center of the paper so let's mark at the three inches and three inches in the bottom and draw the line draw the line very lightly and then again three inches to the both side We need to divide it into eight sections right now we just divided it into four sections so we need to do two diagonal lines also and that's very easy because we already have our two corners so we don't need to use any protector or anything so just put your ruler align it to the both corners very well and make sure that it's crossing it's crossing the center point of these so that you will have a perfect section please draw light guys because eventually we might need to erase them don't draw very dark when you're drawing with the pencil so this is our first step i'm taking a a break for 30 seconds or I'm just waiting for you guys for 30 seconds to catch up till here divide your paper into eight sections as I'm seeing few people are few participants are still joining so while waiting let me just tell you that I have become a CZT now as you can see here is this is the CZT CZT is a certified Zentangle teacher so now you can start your Zentangle journey with me and I'm taking my first Zentangle class this coming Sunday next to next 20th of the December. You can register uh, at my website that's www.nidhiprakasharts.com. You can register yourself for the Zentangle class. So while registration you will see it will, it's a $30 class. But there is one catch you can join that class in ten dollars if you join me at patreon so for the patreon at the december perk you can join that class for free 
If you want to know more about it, you can talk to me in Discord, in Facebook or here, wherever you want. Let's go. Now we need our compass. Before we use the compass, Ajay, if you can help me write down my dimensions, my measurements. Of course. So we need, let me just put it here. You can see here. So I'm putting it, my ruler, it's zero into the center, guys. So my first circle, first guideline will be at the 1.5 centimeter. Second would be three centimeters. Then three and a half centimeters. Four and a half centimeters and six centimeters. I'm repeating again and your co-host Ajay is also writing into the chat. It's already into the chat. 1.5 centimeters, 3 centimeters, 3.5 centimeters, 4.5 centimeters and 6 centimeters. So I already put these dots as you can see. So 1 I'm sorry, 1.5, 3.3, 1.5, 3, 3.5, 4.5, and 6. Now I'm grabbing my compass with the pencil and I'm drawing these circles. These are our guidelines. So again, don't draw very dark. If you have any questions, please write down in the chat. And guys, for the sixth one, I'm not drawing the whole circle. I'm just cutting the lines. So just this much is enough for your last six centimeter circle we just need marks on our final lines that's it thank you for subscribing I hope everybody is done till here. Please write down in the chat. If you guys are done till here, please write down so that we can move forward together, guys. Because these guidelines are really important. If guidelines are not perfect, it would be tough to get the final result. This is our final result, guys. Awesome Gayatri, thank you. Thank you Raj. Thank you Gitanjali. Thank you Raj. Awesome. So Vinita dimensions, dimensions are already there in the up through the AP music account and uh, I will repost them. Okay, so he is reposting it again. And I'm telling you again, the first circle is at 1.5 centimeter, second circle is at 3 centimeters, third circle is at 3.5 centimeters, 4.5 centimeters, and the last, these marks are at 6.5 centimeters. I'm sorry, 6 centimeters. Keep your uh, compass, keep your the this uh, tool ready. Again, we need it one more time in our this artwork. Okay, we are still not done with the guidelines. So after this, guys, I'm keeping my pencil here and I'm again using my this tool. Please look this step carefully. This is really important step. Take it one centimeter wide. Keep it one centimeter wide. 
you see this is one centimeter wide I'm just keeping it one centimeter wide okay guys this is a really important step guys keep your this compass with the one centimeter width and at your three centimeter circle three and half cent three centimeter circle guys we are going to draw our this half circle still we are just working with the guidelines okay we are working with the pencil we are just drawing the half circle draw light because eventually we are going to draw over them with the pen okay but this step is really important we are going to draw a lot of the guidelines with the pencil first if you want you can draw the whole mandala with the pencil first and then you can retrace it with the pen later it's absolutely your choice this is the first step again I'm waiting for you guys okay till then how about you guys please write down one or two if you are drawing along with me please write down one if you are just watching me drawing and just learning the process and you might draw it later maybe so please write down two so I'm waiting for your response either write one or two thank you Marilyn thank you Miss D thank you Himani Thank you Crafty Dhruvi, thank you Barbara, oh I see my uh, Patreons are already there, thank you Gitanjali, Vinita, Aishwarya, Preeti, Satish, Gayatri, Rose, Suhas, Divyansh, Param, Aishwarya, I am sorry if I forgot any name, thank you Preeti, hello Pramila, Thank you for your feedback guys and I can't see you guys but I can see you through your feedback. You can see me but when you write something in the chat that's how I can see you guys. So thank you for your feedback. Now the next step is again very important. Now we need to decrease our this distance is around you know 0.6 Centi point 0.6 centimeters don't make it absolutely half make it kind of 0.6 inches like we are going to draw you can do it by your eye if you want we we are going to draw one this line like this so 0.6 centimeter is my distance which I kept here this is the important step in this whole mandala that's why we are doing it with the pencil first and then we can retrace it easily with the pen here you go So now here comes the important point. Again, I'm focusing it a little bit more. Uh, can you tell the last bit of it again? So start again from this point and kind of make one more inner circle. And I kept the distance of my this compass is 0 0.6 centimeters. You can do it by your eye also, like leave little space in between two circles. These this is the this is the diagram which we are kind of drawing like the half moon and this heartish 
shape now we are going to draw freehand with the pencil so that's why please look carefully i hope you get it sashi so first we draw a 1 cm this half circle then we draw 0.6 cm so that we get this you know double line and now we drew this circle at 3 and 1/2 cm so please look carefully in this outer circle we are going to draw a spiralish shape like this which will stay inside this 3 and 3 and 1/2 circle centimeters that's why we drew this circle to draw the guideline to use it as a guideline i hope you get it so first start from the corner stay inside this 3.5 cm i am doing it again please look carefully and make it round touch your inner circle line and leave it as a open spiral i hope you find this step easy This step is little tough but if you do one step at a time and just concentrate on that one step then it's very easy and we are doing it with the pencil so don't worry we can easily erase and fix if we mess up anywhere keep drawing the same thing mandala is a wonderful art therapy tool repeat the same thing in the circular way and draw it with full focus awesome and we are kind of done with this second step now now i'm grabbing my pen and i'm using micron pigma 08 number pen here and the tip size is 0.5 mm thank you for subscribing now i'm starting from this center point guys we already have eight sections as you can see right so i would like to draw these lines first now we need to divide them into one one more line so just find out the center and divide it find out the center and divide it it's okay if it's not absolutely perfect center and that's the fun with the hand drawn mandala that makes it authentic that it's not uh, you know digital mandala where you see every side is absolutely perfect that's very mechanical oops uh, hmm. pramila is asking for the pen name yeah so the pen name is pigma micron 08 it's a sakura brand and you can see the link of this pen in the description of my video and if you are not at my discord 
if you join my discord so there is one different channel that's the material you can see all the materials which which i use in different classes with all their amazon links now we need to just convert them into little and the entry is also asking about the number of pencils that you're using number of pencils yeah, oh i'm just using a normal I'm just using a normal mechanical pencil. Uh, There's the Graph Gear 500. It's normal 2HB pencil, which I'm using. I think I'm using this pencil since past uh, seven, eight years when I moved to US. Then I just bought it. And since then I'm just using the same pencil. I love this pencil. This is just a very basic pencil, but somehow I love it. Even I use this for drawing all the my you know like this kind of in my graphite drawing and all that stuff I use to draw the draft I use that pencil and then different other pencils the base pencil is this just making please leave the space on the top Awesome. we'll just leave it here the center part and now I'm just grabbing my uh, this compass where I can fit my pen in because we need to draw over these circles you can do it freehand also because we have already drawn it with the pen uh, already drawn it with the pencil but I would love to do it with the pen and so Lena or folks who are coming coming late the recording of the session will be available after the session is complete so if you're late and if you wanted to follow from the beginning you can always uh, come back and watch the recording so i'm just drawing over these half circles with the pen you can do it with the compass you can do it with the uh, with freehand because we already drew it with the pencil right so it's absolutely your choice Is my focus as well? Yes. Now I'm doing it to the inner circle. lot of people generally say me that th their pen doesn't fit in their compass so that's why I drew it with the pencil first so you can easily retrace it with the pen freehand also guys Now here is one more thing. We are going to draw two more circles. You see where their inside of this part is. Just connect it and then draw this circle here. Like 
now I'm just taking it out and completing these beautiful shape what do you want to call this shape is this the half moon or like uh, let me not give you an idea write down in the chat what do you want to call this shape I don't know the name of this particular tangle or the particular shape particular pattern it just look beautiful to me you can give it a name your own beautiful name sometime it looks like kind of bangle to me half moon yes sometimes I call it half moon also absolutely draw slow guys don't hurry okay this is really important to draw slow Keep drawing, keep drawing. There you go. Split it heart shape. That's nice. Kidney shaped seed. <laughs> okay guys now again I'm grabbing my pencil for the next step so you see where these heart shapes are kind of joining here or like connecting to this so we are going to draw the line from here base and we are going to draw the petal shape which is touching to this six inch centimeter circle line so please draw it with the pencil first like this so we are going to draw the petal shape over these half uh, moon half split hearts or the spirals or these beautiful bangle kind of shape We are drawing with the pencil so we can easily, you know. Fix the mistakes. Because we are not drawing with the pen now. Keep your leaves little thick from the bottom and they are pointy from the top. And wherever you feel like you can erase and fix your pencils. Here you see, now you can see if any of the petal you want to erase and fix, you can easily do it. Keep them pointy from the top. And I think I did pretty good. And now we are going to do we are going to again use our oops, the 08 micron pigma pen and we are going to trace 
these lines as well as we need a double line also like this if you want you can draw the double line also with the pencil first and then you can retrace it it's absolutely your choice guys okay is there a, is there a measure, measurement for the leaf uh, fatima is yeah uh, measurement of the leaf you know we drew in the big in the beginning the six inches point so six and six centimeter i mean i'm sorry so this is the six centimeter top point which we already marked in the very beginning of our uh, video and here we started the root of our these circles that is the three centimeter circles so we are starting from the third centimeter circle and we are going all the way to the six centimeter circle And this double line can be little thick, little thin. It's absolutely your choice how you want to keep it. So again I'm telling you if you want you can draw the whole mandala with the pencil first and then you can take a look how it is looking if you want to fix anything and then after fixing and correcting everything then you can retrace it with the pen. So when we do the Zentangle class, then we talk about the every tangle with their name and you are going to learn lots of lots of tangles in that and to join any of the Zentangle advanced class, you need to join the Zentangle 101 class first. That's the prerequisite for any advanced Zentangle class. So that is the class which I'm taking the first Zentangle class. That is the main basic class to start your Zentangle journey. And only CZTs can take that class. Okay. Awesome. How is it looking, guys? I'm liking it, right? Yes, you can do this on canvas board on any kind of surface. It's absolutely your choice. Just use the uh, material which goes best with that base. So now guys, next step is I'm doing it from the inside here. So you see wherever these... So there was a question from Pramila, uh, can this be done on a canvas board? Yes, I just replied her. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just filling this leftover area here. I'm using the same pen because here the you know space is not that much so I don't really want to use the thick tip pen this pen is perfect for this kind of you know small filling but where the area is little big I would love to use the thicker tip pen so that that saves time and you can fill quickly if you want guys you can use your colors maybe later maybe now if you want to put colors that's absolutely your choice okay. 
now we are going to fill these areas these leftover areas so i'm going to use little thick tip pen you can use the same pen also here i'm using little thicker tip pen Be very careful. I hope everyone is catching up well. And guys, when you guys are done drawing, don't forget to submit your work and share your work with me so if you have not joined my discord please join the discord that's a beautiful art community and that is absolutely free you can join that and there are various channel so there is one channel name is art corner and in that channel you can share your work with me and you can see other participants work too so that's a beautiful place to join you might see the link of that discord somewhere in the chat that bot keeps popping that link every now and then draw with full focus guys Draw slow, don't hurry. Uh, there's a lot of people asking if they can use black marker pen. Yes, yes, definitely. Definitely, definitely, guys. So for submission of your work, you can submit at my Discord. Ajay, can you please give the Discord link? Okay. <clears throat> now again, I'm using this and I'm filling it all the way, you know, till here also. So discord link is in the chat join it and it is absolutely free and it works better if you download the app first right Ajay yeah so uh, yes, that's right. yeah that's so right. no problem so you can download the discord app first and then join click on that link join the join my server and then there you can you will see lot of channels so like upcoming project channel like schedule channel material channel general chat and the art corner channel so in the art corner channel you can submit your work and there you will see lot of participants are submitting their work and you can see their past works also and you know if you are working anything else and if you want to share with us you can submit there too so this is a good inspirational area for all the artists. Here you go. 
<laughs> lot of filling right yeah but don't worry guys <coughs> i'm sorry we are going to use lot of you know if you have the white jelly roll pen so we are going to use the white jelly roll pen if you don't have white jelly roll pen you can use any you know white marker pen that has the opaque ink if you don't have any white marker pen that has opaque ink you can use any white acrylic paint and use the toothpick or use any very thin you know any very thin pointed object to make a lot of dots which we are going to do inside of these beautiful half moon shape and we are going to make little big dot here little big dot here and the little tiny dots here so that we are going to do later when we are going to do our final finishing now we are going to work in these petals so i would love to you know erase these pencil lines although most of those lines are going to uh, hide inside the fillings but still it's better to get rid of them before we start the petal drawing the inside petal drawing in these big petals Please don't erase these outlines. We need that, okay? Now again, if you want, you can use pencil. I'm using pencil in one of my petal and then it's absolutely your choice if you want to use pencil in all of them or you can go ahead and draw directly or all three, all five petals with the pen directly. So from here, with the, from the, within the very center of these heart shape, draw a big petal which is touching the top of our this inside line and then we are going to draw petals at both side and we are going to fill that space like this so I just drew it with the pencil if you want you can draw the same shape in all these petals with the pencil and then retrace it with the pen I'm now tracing it with the same pen micron 08 Now I'm drawing the same thing in all the petals and don't worry guys if all petals are not looking same that's what I just told you that is what make your mandala more authentic and beautiful they all are similar still they all are little different that's why they say that mandala resembles our life and in all the meditation and a lot of different forms it has been used and when right now I'm just like kind of you know kind of talking to you guys and trying to give you all the instructions and the measurements so it is a little different but when you draw mandala just for yourself when you draw it <coughs> I'm sorry for my voice when you just keep on drawing without talking to anyone and just draw it with full focus at the end you feel that you did meditation that is what I feel I hope you also feel the same and it gives you beautiful feeling when you end up working with your mandala So I would like to know your feeling your feedback once you are done what do you think about the mandala drawing do you feel the same the way I feel or do you feel something different do you feel any other like feeling of achievement feeling of happiness feeling of 
whatever it might be anything so i would like to read out so there is one channel the submit feedback also in the in my discord you can submit your feedback and if you want to give me any suggestions you are welcome to give me any suggestions to make these videos to make these live sessions better so please write down in the submit feedback or you can write down here also later it's your choice i hope you all are done till here too with me after this we are going to fill all these negative spaces guys whichever the leftover spaces the way we did in the center area and because the area is not very much so i'm using the same pen as you can see as soon as you fill these negative area you see these a positive area becomes so like highlighted right isn't it we talk about lot in these positive and negative spaces in my graphite art classes when we do all the element of arts So in this video when we are done with all these sections then we are going to take a uh, five minutes break and after the break uh, you know when I'm going to show you how we can use acrylic paint for the dots in this mandala which I have used in my uh, this sample mandala also and you know you can create these dots with the pen also no problem but when we use these acrylic paint for the final finishing for the dots that gives you know that enhances the beauty and it gives little dimension to your mandalas and that's reminding me guys if you join my patreon so you not only able to join my zentangle class you can you not only start your zentangle journey by joining my patreon as well as you will unlock lots and lots of videos i would like to show you all those videos which you can unlock through my patreon let me just give a one second it's, it's reminding me here let me just show it you guys <coughs> you will unlock all these videos in the patreon like to drawing this kind of pattern drawing watercolor mandala this beautiful zendala again a beautiful dot painting and the mandala drawing watercolor mandala you can unlock all the videos of these kind of flower of life mandala all together just in the one uh, you know one pledging in ten dollars that's for the patreon that is ten dollars per month you can unlock all these mandala drawings and many more this is not done yet this is not there in the maybe i'll do in future month any month this one in my for my patreons so this is all you can do this like you and you are you'll be able to join my zentangle class so if you become my patreon you will unlock these and many more you know dot painting uh artworks you see dot painting here in the back that is i don't know you can see it or not this is already there the yin yang mandala with the dot painting and many other dot paintings are already there which i am not showing you right now here because they all are stick on the wall so, so nagalakshmi is asking can we use sketch pens for uh, coloring 
yes you can use a sketch pen definitely sketch pen is okay you know the only thing is the ink ink inside the sketch pen like the ink inside this pen is the archival ink so this ink will like you know the company uh, claims that it won't fade away in 100 years so the only thing is the ink if you are using i'm not sure what uh, what kind of ink is in your marker pen is if it is archival ink then it is 100 percent perfect if it is not archival ink maybe it will work fine as of now but it might you know fade away after some time that is the only issue what are these little creatures are doing on the screen Awesome. we are we are done till here now we are going to fill inside of these petals and that is very simple we are just going to draw these kind of loops please look carefully And guys, if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel so that whenever I go live, you will be not you will get notification from the YouTube and you will not miss any of my uh, video or upload. And it is absolutely free for you, but it will help me growing my channel. And it gives me, you know, that encouragement to keep continue these kind of artwork. And don't forget to click on the thumbs up button to this channel if you are liking this I would highly highly appreciate it I'm just erasing this pencil line which I'm seeing here please erase all the pencil lines And as I told you, draw slow, don't hurry, take your time, enjoy the process. If you enjoy the process, definitely end product would be nice. So in the break time guys if you have any black uh, black acrylic paint and the white acrylic paint you can grab that in the break time and any of the dotting tool if you have for the dotting tool you can use anything which has the little you know thin head or the flat head the back of any brush yes Ajay. so there's questions about uh, recording of this video being available can you let people know that the recording will be available yes session on your channel? yes guys recording will be available on my session after uh, recording of this session will be available on my youtube channel after the session you can easily see all my past recordings are available on my youtube channel on draw with me playlist you can see this is also this will be also available in the same playlist draw with me as well as in the mandala drawing so you can easily watch it later no problem if you want you can use little thin tip pen for these inner fillings If you want to learn mandala from the very beginning like how mandala works what are the basic steps to learn so if you join my patreon and see my mandala sessions you will see mandala in the very basic form in the very beginning where you have learned all the basic forms of the mandala of the basic petals like you will learn a lot of these practice sheets there and 
if you want to learn mandala from the very beginning form so then that's the best way we have done done lot of mandala sessions you can find on my youtube channel on these kind of six inch by six inch they all are free they all are available for everyone on my youtube channel in the draw with me session in the draw with me uh, playlist like this is the mandala which we did few weeks ago and it's the only mandala i have so far but we did plenty and then you can see there awesome we are done with the inner thing now again guys we need to use our compass with the pencil and this is really important now is everybody done till here shall i start with the next step guys please write down in the chat because next step is again very important we are, we are going to draw some uh, you know guidelines again so i am waiting for your reply awesome thank you vashvi thank you shashi so please grab your uh, tool and find out the kind of center of this line you see the circle this circle is four and a half centimeter which we draw and here about from the top top of the petal not all the way top but all the way near to the top and don't draw or check like it's coming kind of you know together so draw it like this So there is no measurement for that i'm just doing it with my eye finding the center of the line and drawing these circles with the same distance this is a really important step guys I'm doing it with the pencil first later on I'm going to retrace it with the pen and when I see it it's looking good to me to the all of the circles I need not to retrace them now I'm going to draw it with little you know this distance near the top one more guideline This is going near the top guys, not all the way to the top. So two guidelines are required with the pencil. Then we can move forward with the Then we can move forward with the pen. There's some request to slow down a little okay. bit. Okay. Okay. Now I'm waiting, guys. I'm waiting for you. Hey, Sugand. I'm so happy that you are doing it with me. Please submit your work when you are done. Okay, Sugand. So Sugand is 10 years old and he is drawing with us. He or she. I'm not sure. Sugandha. No, it's not an A. Sorry. Okay, it is Sugand. So, I'm so happy. I'm waiting for you. Now, the next step is we need to retrace these lines with the pen. So, what I can suggest to you, Sugand, that you can leave filling these lines and leave you know the inner fillings you can do it later after the session because it is just the repetition and then you can catch up with me right now how about that where should we size of the paper is six inch by six inch 
this is the paper which I am using the artist style they are pre cut 6 inch by 6 inch now again I put my pen inside the compass and now I'm re yeah so there's a bunch of uh, kids in the chat I think uh, there's a lot of eight years nine years there. really kids, yeah. oh awesome awesome I'm so happy to have Ruby, you guys Anju, awesome Yasin. wow crafty Dhruvi I'm so happy so happy please so you guys can leave filling the inside part right now you can catch it up later you know you can fill the inside part later it, it will not stop you working outside with me right now so now I'm just tracing it don't trace the top line guys okay we don't need to trace the top line we are going to erase it later the top line that is just for the guidelines You can retrace it with freehand also if you cannot fit your pen inside the compass. If you want to see what compass I am using, what pen I am using or what all other supplies you can see in the description of the video. All the supplies which I am using with their Amazon link it's available there and if still you don't find it you can ask me. In the chat later now this is just the freehand inside one more line please draw slow because there is a high chance of you know messing it up when you do these kind of double lines especially when you do it with the uh, compass because sometimes you know it changes the width or something and you are not aware about it and then when you draw it's all done Ta -da, you are and when you mess up with the pen then you know that it's a little difficult to I think I did a little bit mess up in this one so sometimes it happens it's okay I'll when we'll work in on that then we'll fix it yes uh, Ajay. Jane is asking after drawing with pencil can we trace it with freehand yes yes that's what I just told you you can trace it with freehand for sure no problem no problem so now now we are working in we are starting from this one so here we'll just fill this inner line this is the big line and we are going to do make a lot of these little humps inside and a lot of the stippling a lot of dots inside of this right now please look carefully what I'm doing we can use the same pen also there is no problem in using the same pen but I'm using a little thinner tip pen just to give you an idea and I'm just making one spiral here into the center and then I'm making little you know heart shape uh, can you please zoom in on the section that you're drawing So I first drew one spiral then three heart shape like smaller size then little bigger size then more bigger size and then last. That's it. We can use the same pen also and we can use you know I just uh, messed up here in the line I'm just fixing that how I can fix it 
I'm just making my this double line little bigger here as you can see how I'm fixing it I'm just drawing this line now I can just fill this area because that will be called as the negative area is it clear now yes I'm just filling this Yes, I'm going to do it three more times. I'm going to do this design three more times. So we are going to leave one and we are going to do the same thing again here. So I'm going to do it again here. Okay. So I'm right now I'm using my this 08 pen. First I drew this line and drew these little humps downside. and lots of dots in here okay after this one can we wait for about a minute for people to capture sure no problem Then with this little th thin tip pen, it is 03 instead of 08 and make one spiral into the center. After the spiral, draw these little heart shape at the first step. Then little bigger heart shape at the next step and then keep on increasing keep on increasing them that's it and then we are going to fill this negative space so that's how we are going to draw our this beautiful flower you can call it a rose flower or whatever flower you want to call it it's a flower pattern I'm going to redo it again I'm going to leave one and then I'm going to do it again in the next one so if you missed it please look at it shall I wait or shall I uh, I think let's complete this one and then okay so okay okay so first we are going to draw these little humps and then lots of dots the pointillism or the stippling after that you can use the same pen also okay same pen will also look give you the same result but if you want you can use little thinner pen if you want you can use little red color pen or something for the flowers and here is the spiral I'm repeating it again then little small heart shape then little big and we keep on doing it until we reach to the boundary there is no hard and fast rule guys that how many hearts you are supposed to draw how big how small you are supposed to draw you are supposed to draw small to big maybe three maybe four maybe two it's absolutely fine and just draw it into little uh, you know with little humps that's it and keep them little bigger as you are going out so it will give you beautiful look and just fill the leftover area so it is absolutely repetition 
hearts as you see now i'm done with the three of these sections and now i'm left with the four section do you guys want me to wait or shall i continue yeah i think let's wait about a minute for people okay. to catch up or okay. they can ask questions in the meantime again okay no worries guys i'm waiting for a minute guys take your time i'm waiting suganth take your time and what i can suggest you guys like you know this is absolutely repetition in 1 2 3 and i'm going to do it one more time on the four so if you are not able to do in all four sections you can just do as much as you can and you can complete it later after the session okay so don't worry if you are not able to complete all these here with me i hope that helps <laughs> battle royale is going on okay guys now again we are going to work in this fourth one and we are going to make the same pattern here and the rest four is the little different pattern So the first step is to draw the line and this is our you know that 4 and a half centimeter circle line lot of humps lot of dots when you are doing this pointillism keep your pen absolutely straight so that you don't get tails in your dots but just the absolute dots then i'm going to draw this beautiful small spiral into the center and then we are going to draw the heart shapes you can draw 3 you can draw 4 it is absolutely fine and This is also okay if in one flower you drew four petals and in this one you are drawing three petals don't worry because you no one is going to see one pattern separately when we are done with the mandala the viewer always see the whole mandala as a the complete mandala as a whole so if they are similar they will look pretty so don't bother just enjoy the process and keep drawing okay so nagal lakshmi is asking while coloring can we use color pencils for lighter shades along with acrylic paint yes definitely you can use color pencils for your lighter shade as i showed you in my this pattern drawing like oops where did the where did that go i don't know the one which i showed you the square one this one like i used lot of color pencils in this one so in this pattern drawing yeah you can sure definitely use color pencils that gives beautiful look and now i'm filling with this all these negative areas the leftover areas Kada we are done with all these rows four rows flowers now we are going to start the next step and i'm waiting for again one minute for you guys to complete your all those rows flowers and then we'll start the next step here Thank you. 
Shayana. I would love to see your work when you are done. So now we are working in the next section guys and if you are not done with all four sections you can leave them and you can complete them later after the session also okay. So again I am focusing it to one section so that you can see it. Okay so in this section first we are going to do the same repetition in these. This is absolutely similar in all eight sections that draw this line and draw the humps, fill the little bottom and then lots of dots. This will be similar in all eight sections so I'm just completing in rest of the four. I forgot to do the humps first. <laughs> okay. We should not worry about our any, you know, mistake or any if we mess up. That's absolutely fine. We shouldn't take it, you know, easy and we should try to make it a part of our artwork and take it as an opportunity. Okay guys, now please look carefully. It's very very simple now. Very easy. We are going to draw one line into the center. Try to divide it into two parts. If again, if you want, you can do it with the pencil and then you can retrace it with the pen later. It's your choice. Now we are going to draw four lines at each side, but these lines are little curvy. One two three four one two three four if you have more space if you want to draw more lines you can draw more lines and then we are going to draw these little dots very randomly I'm trying to put these dots as you know those brick pattern like in between these two dots now I'm repeating the same thing again if you have missed it please look carefully draw one line into the center four lines at each side with little tilted and the end if you have more space you can draw five lines if you have less space you can draw three lines it's absolutely fine then just draw these beautiful dots It's okay. That will also look nice. I would love to see your work, Anju. It is absolutely okay if you have done heart pattern in all of them. It must be looking pretty. If you want, if you want to like do them differently, you can use red color in the one and maybe the purple or any other color in the other one. If you are coloring, if you are not coloring, then you are absolutely fine. Sometimes it happens, you know, when you keep on listening and you are so much engrossed in your work and then you keep on drawing, 
it happens with me a lot of time it is absolutely okay now this is the last section first draw the center line straight and then four lines at each side which is which are a little curvy as they are going to the top you can draw as many dots as you want You can come over these dots again with your, you know, acrylic paint if you want to do very small, like kind of acrylic paint. Now we are just left with, you know, one last, uh, one last drawing. One last pattern and then all the, you know, embellishments is left. That's it. So... I'm waiting for you guys. So Rajmuli, my channel name, uh, you are you are already on my channel right now. And the uh, playlist name, if you are, I think you are asking for the playlist. So the playlist name is Draw With Me. And there is another playlist that's the mandala if you are exactly looking for all the mandalas so mandala is the playlist if you're asking about the YouTube channel or if you are asking about the patreon then that is NP arts www.patreon.com slash NP arts And all links are available on our website. Uh, yes. You can see all the links on my website. Now, you remember we drew this uh, final, uh, these guidelines. So, we are just going to draw. If you want, you can draw it with the pencil first, guys. No problem. If you want, you can draw directly with the pen. It is absolutely your choice. These are just little humps we are drawing. Like this. And we keep on drawing. Slow and steady. And keep rotating your paper so that you need not to put your hand over your work that is really important guys don't keep your hand over your work when you are going to read so keep rotating it so that you keep your hand on the side of your paper and you can work that's why these guidelines are really you know important and they are really helpful to give you where to stop how long you are supposed to make and kind of give a, a little uh, symmetry to your work and that is really important in mandala drawing especially in all these Zen doodle pattern still they are absolutely fine little big or small but in the mandala drawing it really needs some symmetry in the circular manner so guidelines are really important that's why we need little extra tools while working on the mandala 
but when we do all these zentangle class zen doodle zentangle inspired classes then we just need basic tools right we don't need that compass and all but in like the zendala in the zen button then we need like you know this is kind of one of the zen button in this kind of art we need tools So now we'll just do one more thing and then we'll take a five minute break. If you have the white jelly roll pen, then please grab it. This is a white jelly roll pen or any other white pen if you have that gives you opaque ink. So please just grab it and then we are going to put a lot of dots inside these heart shape with the white jelly roll pen. White any white marker pen that gives you thin dots like that you can just use that and make lot of dots if you don't have any white pen you can grab your white acrylic paint and any thin tip like you know uh, the all pen or something like that and then you can use the tip of it and then you can put lot of dots with your white acrylic paint, white fabric paint, any thick opaque white paint, gouache, whatever you have, poster color. So Ajay, after doing these two, we are going to take a break, okay? Okay. And in the break, I'm going to grab my uh, dotting tool and my acrylic paint. So if you guys have acrylic paint, black and white, please grab. How is it looking guys? Are the focus? I did it. Yeah. yeah. So guys, now it's time to take a small break and see you in few minutes. And I'm grabbing my acrylic paint and dotting tool and then we'll just complete it. Okay?
I'm so sorry guys my mic was off <laughs> so I'm using the acrylic paint now and uh, for the dotting tool I'm using here nail art tool and one this crochet hook tool this this is the flat head you can use any kind of tool whatever is lying at your you know and in the back of your any uh, paint brush or anything which gives you uh, a, a beautiful dot you can use that And before using any acrylic paint on your paper it is highly advisable to clean up before using the paint because then otherwise it would be really difficult to do all the cleanup so I'm just erasing all these guidelines which we don't need now Okay, and do you see any other uh, kind of lines I'm seeing here inside the pencil lines? So please clean up all the pencil lines guys before you put paint in your sheet. It is really important to get rid of all the guidelines it not only make your artwork beautiful and clean up everything but uh, it will save a lot of time uh, Ashuria is asking what kind of eraser uh, I use so this is a mono zero eraser for the precision erasing it has a very little thin tip so it comes like that you can it has the this kind of erasing lid and you can like change it when it's done it's like a mechanical pencil but a eraser but eraser yes okay and so when is asking do we have to put paint no it's not it's not compulsory it's absolutely optional you can do the same thing with the uh, you know uh, with uh, marker pens for sure and before you use eraser make sure your work is all dried and everything and I'm just looking now you see there are some you the white spots I'm seeing in my these filling areas so we can go over and we can just fill them while checking it for the final finishing wherever you see the white spots in your these black fillings please fill them very well because otherwise they won't give good finished look 
so you can go over one more time and you can check them you can fill them wherever you see these white spots these small things are really important to take care of uh, these final finishings okay now i'm going to put you know black dot over these black dots which i put with the pen so you can just leave it like that if you don't want to use the pen i'm just using it with the black paint as you can see here i'm just putting one dot it will just give little enhancement to my work but while using paint be very careful go slow don't hurry because if you put the paint at the wrong place and if it is smudged then it's difficult to you know clean it up uh, do you have the name of that eraser uh, we have a question in the chat. i think uh, i have the link of that eraser in my uh, no the eraser link is not in description oh it is not in the description i'm so sorry it must be there in my uh, in my discord but you can see it it is a tombo tombo is the brand t o m b o w t o m b o w tombo is the brand and mono zero tombo mono zero is the eraser which i'm using here and i'm done with this now i'm just cleaning it with the tissue paper here and now uh shane is asking is it necessary to paint no not at all not at all guys it's not not necessary it is absolutely optional i'm just giving you the idea how you can uh use the dot painting to make it more you know uh enhance the beauty of this mandala now i'm using the another dotting tool and i'm putting a dot here for the white color it is absolutely optional you can skip this step so i'm dipping it in my color and i'm just giving one dot okay keep the color in the frame so yes 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 now is it yeah okay now i'm just cleaning my tool now i'm using little you know thick tool here and this is basically a crochet guys you know for the tools for the uh, your these dotting tools you can use various kind of things back of your pencil back of your you know uh, acrylic brush paints or whatever stuff is lying down here and there at your home that can give you the little of these you know uh, and you can use that so now i'm using this crochet hook with the flat head and i'm using the black paint here now to making dots you can see i filled it little way too much i was in a little hurry and i'm just touching it and giving it so now if you don't want to use the paint you can just use the pen and make a dot right so you can do it with the pen also no problem I try to give you all the ideas and it is absolutely your choice what you want to do whatever stuff you have at home you can just go accordingly Even in my zentangle class I would give you all the ideas of the original zentangle stuff which you are supposed to use but it's not necessary and compulsory to use all that stuff you can I'll give you the alternate idea also which you can use so it's absolutely your choice how you want to go about it we 
we are done with all the dots with the inner black dots then the inner white dots and all these big black dots you know we can go over again and again and we can fix little bit more inner lines and everything but for now i think i'm kind of done with this we want if you want you can give little bit of shading but if you are going to do shading or anything please do it before using any acrylic paint i am not doing any shading and anything in this one like you see in my this past mandala i did lot of shading you see i use lot of graphite pencil and the blending stump or the q tip and we did lot of shading in this one but in this particular mandala we are not doing any shading because i want to focus on the dots in this one i want to give you the idea how to do the how to use acrylic paint and make the dots the perfect circles in this one so i hope you like it we are kind of done now and now we are left with just the last and the most important step that is let me just clean my tool first with the tissue paper this is really important i don't want to make my art table messy now i'm just putting it away you can use any kind of acrylic paint the gloss paints are the best because they give you a little glossy effect but any kind of acrylic paint would work well so what is the uh, last step guys last and the most important step let's see if anyone can give me the hint i'm waiting thank you 81 sush my all designs if you see on my patreon also if my all mandala designs like these kind of flower of art or these kind of all acrylic painting so they all are like kind of you know uh, all are a little different and you'll find lot of various designs there so yes you can use fabric paint nagalakshmi sure you can use fabric paint yes sharad name name yes so the last and the most important thing is to sign it put down your name date and to praise your work that is the most important thing whenever you do any kind of pattern drawing either it is mandala or you do zen doodle or zen zentangle inspired art or zentangle art any kind of pattern drawing always sign your name always write your initials or sign whatever you want to do i am writing here my name and today's date is 12th december so oh 12 12 20 nice date right and now take your work in your hand and praise it that we did awesome thank you everybody for joining me we all did awesome i can't wait to see you guys and now when i'm seeing my work i can see some of the pencil lines which now i'm going to erase maybe today evening or tomorrow because i already put lot of these acrylic paints i don't want to mess up now so i can still see some of the pencil lines which i'm going to erase it maybe today evening or tomorrow not now guys i hope you like the pattern you enjoyed the session and again if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe click on the thumbs up button and next week we are going to do same time spiral art spiral art is a art you know uh, where you don't actually know what will be the final product that is the basically the paradox zentangle we use and every single time they all are little different let me show you few of the spiral arts which we have done let me just remove it these are the kind of the spiral art this is just an half an hour session and they are just basically the pattern just the line drawing you do and these are the kind of the spiral art which we do in stuck okay in the spiral art session so this is just the line drawing and the tangle name is the paradox zentangle which we use it's just an half an hour session next week you can join me in the spiral art same time same place and 
next Sunday is the Zentangle 101 class. You can register yourself at my website. You can ask questions about that on about the Zentangle class here with me or maybe later in Discord or Facebook, wherever you want, you can connect with me. I hope everyone enjoyed and now it's time to say goodbye. Are we good to are we good to say goodbye, Ajay? Yep. Okay, guys, I'm waiting here for two more minutes. If you have any questions, now I'm looking at the chat because I'm free now. Okay, Rose Catherine, thank you. I, I'm happy that you enjoyed it. Satya, bye Satya, bye Nagalakshmi, bye Crafty Dhruvi, bye Shaina. So, so Sharad, you can send it to my Discord. Please download the Discord app and click on the link of the Discord. Join my Discord and then there is a channel named Art Corner. You can submit your work there. A bit of fun. Nice, Satya. Yes, you can submit your works pic. Uh, can you show the app on the phone? Uh, I don't think a lot of people yes. have seen the app. Yes, you can see the app. So, like, this is the Discord app, guys. Can you see this app? This is the Discord app. Please download that app. This is the Discord app. And when you click on that app, you will see lots of sections. This is the NP Arts you are going to join. And you see there are a lot of sections. General Chat, Art Corner. So, if you see in the Art Corner, so a lot of people are submitting their work, whatever they are doing. So, you know, Navita Shaw already submitted her work for today's this pattern. I'm so happy. So you see a lot of people will submit their work and you can see other people work also and you can submit your work too. And you can submit your any other artwork also there to inspire others. So you can inspire others also and you can be inspired too with from others. So there is one channel named Art Corner. This is the general chat if you want to talk with me or ask any questions or anything. The schedule will give you all the schedule of my December month. Every month I put up schedule there. In the upcoming projects, you will see all the upcoming projects and the projects all we have done in the past in that one. So they all are here. If we do any announcement, material list will give you all the materials with I used in different classes as well as with their Amazon links in the material list and this is a channel just for the patrons so uh, patron channel is just for all my patreons who have uh, pledged with me that is the ten dollar per month and as I showed you a lot of the patreon only videos you will unlock if you join me at the patreon and you can and you will join me in the zentangle class too so if you want to start your zentangle journey it's the time the first class will be on the 20th of december i would love to see you all in that class for that class you need to register yourself and don't forget to join me on the patreon so that it would be just ten dollar for you otherwise it is thirty dollar class so it's absolutely your choice how you want to go about it and the next week session the spiral art is absolutely free on my youtube see you there on the next saturday still is there any other questions i think we are okay we are okay thank you linda i'm happy to see you here i just saw your some message on the discord in the patrons channel she is my first patron uh, Linda so um, this is free for all the patron class you need not to do anything but just click on the register and register yourself you need not to pay anything else just write down in the uh, description patron that's it I hope you get your answer Linda otherwise I'll write you down in the discord too bye bye everyone So Satya, you need to join me in the Patreon that is $10 per month Patreon and you will unlock all those videos of the mandalas as well as you will join my all the, you know, classes which I give uh, free for the Patreons 
this month i am giving the free class for the zentangle class and you can start your zentangle journey next month i am going to give one advanced zentangle class but you can join the advanced zentangle class only if you join the basic class so basic class is important to start your zentangle journey okay guys okay linda thank you